Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video is full of DIY decor ideas using photos without just putting them in frames. So I wanted to share with you how I did that, especially because it's also timely with weddings and Mother's Day and everything coming up. These also make great gifts, so stay tuned. In honor of Mother's Day, I've also teamed up with one of my favorite jewelry brands, Ana Luisa Jewelry, to share with you some really cool ideas that you can just drop ship as gifts. My favorite thing about Ana Luisa Jewelry, it's their mission, and that's that they are so focused on sustainability, which I've talked about before. That's something important to me as well. They are committed to have a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020. So if you've heard of this before, a lot of companies, they're kicking this out to 2025, 2030, 2040. They've said they're gonna do it by 2020. I really love the sustainable aspect. I also like that their stuff is affordable. It starts at $39. And so I wanted to give you an up close look at three of my favorite pieces that are on their website right now. The first one being this mama necklace, obviously, with this being my first Mother's Day, I had to pick this one up. I've been looking at these all over the place on different sites on the internet, and I really like this one. I like the font. I like how understated it is. I also really like the clasp in the back because there's a couple different areas where you can clip it to make the necklace shorter or longer, which is nice for layering. Next up are these white and gold earrings. They're super simple and not heavy. When I saw these, I thought these would make a really great gift from a bride to bridesmaids. The gold and the white is a really classic combination. It's perfect for spring and it would also be a really great gift for mom because it will go with just about anything she's gonna wear this spring. And then also, I'm really loving these pink and gold combination earrings. They have just enough drop that they give you enough drama, especially with my longer hair. Also, a perk of these earrings is that you could flip them on either side and just have the gold be out. So if you're looking for the kind of really pretty marble metallic pattern to be out, you can wear them one way or flip them so you just have the plain gold on the outside. And versatility is a huge plus for me. Ana Luisa is running a Mother's Day deal. I will have all the information here on the screen and then also down below for you. They come in super cute little gift boxes with also each piece comes in these really cute little bags. These would be an awesome option to drop ship. They'll take care of making it look pretty for you for mom. Thank you Ana Luisa Jewelry for partnering with me on this video and now let's get into the DIYs. Up first are these Pinterest inspired Polaroid coasters. So I printed out a selection of four x four pictures at my local Walgreens. And then I also had these four x four tiles on hand. The first step was to go through and trim down my pictures so that they looked like Polaroids because if you did the four x four pictures, you could put them on, they would fully cover, but I wanted them to look like Polaroids. So I took three quarters of an inch off each picture so that they were three and a quarter inch tall. Then I used some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You can definitely use regular Mod Podge, but I had this on hand from a prior project and I think it gives it a little bit extra protection from any condensation from cups. I put some on the tile and then I added my pictures. I made sure there weren't any bubbles, stuck it completely down and then let them dry. So then once everything was dry, I went back through and gave it a, another coat of Mod Podge. This is going to seal everything down and make it so that if any water or anything gets on your coaster, it's not going to be gross and runny and all the things. It's going to look funky when you put it on there, but it will dry clear. And I would do two coats just to make sure that you're safe. Then once those were dry, I flipped them over and added some felt pieces. This is literally felt from a leftover Easter garland from Dollar Tree, but it's just so they don't scratch. And then I let them completely cure overnight. I absolutely love these, especially because I use our professional photos with them, but you could use sayings, you could use quotes. You could also print out your pictures on a laser jet printer. I would not suggest inkjet because the Mod Podge will make everything run. And like I said, with condensation and everything, this is my kombucha. It is perfectly safe. These would also make an awesome gift for grandmas, or this would be awesome for a wedding gift for a new home with some engagement photos. I just tied it up really quick with some jute twine, some lamb's ear, and this is a really cute way to bring it, just hand it to someone instead of having to go the whole wrapping route. 
Next are these large 11 by 14 canvas prints that I DIY'd. If you've ever been in the market for a canvas print, you know that they can get really expensive. And so I wanted to DIY these, especially because I had the canvases already at my house. So I got two prints of the pictures that I wanted in a size 20 by 30, and that's because I wanted to be able to wrap it around the 11 by 14. So here are the two images that I got. I got them printed at Walgreens, but you can get them at Costco for $10 each. I just am not heading out to Costco right now, so I ended up getting them from Walgreens because that's here in town and there's hardly ever anyone in the store. So the day I got them, I brought them home and I set them out on my table. I put my radon to good use and made sure that they were flat because they gave them to me wrapped up. Then the next day I went through and trimmed off all of the extra outside pieces. So then that way I was ready to work with my images. After the pictures were cut out, I took the first one and I laid it over my 11 by 14 canvas and I went through and got it positioned where I wanted to because like I said, there's gonna be an overhang. I went through and creased the area where it was going to sit and wrap around the canvas. That is so I had a guide when I flip it over to start hooking it to the canvas. So then I grabbed some Mod Podge and just added a good amount to the back. I just went ahead and dribbled some on there. And then I spread that out and this is going to help the front of your canvas stick to your picture before you go ahead and wrap it. So once I got a good coat on there, I put my canvas down. I lined it up with my creases that I originally made and then I pushed everything down to make sure that I had a good stick. Then I let that dry for probably about an hour just to make sure everything cured. Then I started to wrap my canvas. So I went through with some Mod Podge and I started on the shorter sides I folded them up and just started stapling with a staple gun. I love the staple gun. I got it super cheap at Michael's and I will link it down below. If you don't have one on hand, you can grab one from them. So this first step is just making sure that your sides are completely stapled down. And then I repeated the same step on the other side with the Mod Podge. Then I started wrapping my canvas and I used the same thought process that I use when I wrap Christmas presents. So I folded in the corner like you can see here and I used my staple gun to staple the corner down just so then that way I had a cleaner edge and then I was able to fold that edge up as kind of the finishing touch. So I pushed down and this takes a little bit, especially because these poster prints are not super pliable, but once you get your pieces folded in, you can see how I made that nice clean corner there. And then I stapled that down so it stayed in place. After that was all set, I folded up the side just like a Christmas present. And if you've got too much that it's hard to work with, you can go ahead and just cut it off. So then that way you've got a little less bulkiness to have to deal with. I folded it up and over the edge and then I went back through, pulled it tight and used my staple gun to finish off that edge. Then you're gonna repeat the same step, folding in the edges, stapling, mod podging, the whole thing on the other side so that you can complete the wrap. And then I wanted to make it look like a real canvas. So this is totally optional. You could have just left it how it was, but I wanted to give it that canvas texture. So I went through, put a layer of Mod Podge, and then I just stamped it with this piece of burlap fabric I had just hanging out at my house. You could use a ton of things to stamp this. One of my other favorite things is to use a canvas. Just stamp that on the top, just so then you kind of stamp that texture into the Mod Podge. So it's gonna dry clear, but you're going to then see the texture on the canvas. I'm so excited to have pictures of Finn up in the house. There was a point there where there were more pictures of Sebastian. So I had to get some of our family photos up and these turned out really great and on a budget. Up next is this super cool candle hack. This has been on Pinterest for years, but it hasn't been really prevalent lately. I've made these for years, and so I wanted to share them with you guys. So this is really simple. All you need is a pillar candle, and you're gonna want a real candle, not a fake candle, like one of those LED fake candles, some parchment paper, 
some type of heat. I have an embellishing heat gun, but you could use a hair dryer if that's what you have on hand. And then you're gonna need your pictures on tissue paper. So to do that, I cut out a sheet of tissue paper, nothing fancy about this, I'm pretty sure it's from the Dollar Tree, and I taped it onto an eight and a half by 11 sheet from our printer, just so then that way this helped it guide through the printer. So once you complete that, I headed to our printer, and this is not a fancy printer. This is an inkjet, not a laser jet, but I printed out the photos to size. It's gonna depend on how big your candles are. And then I cut out this cute little family picture of ours. I removed the paper from the back, and then I figured out where I wanted it on the candle. Once it's in a spot that you want, you're gonna take a sheet of parchment paper, wrap it around your candle, and then hold it tight. And then once you have it set, you're gonna apply the heat. And as you can see, once your heat is hot enough, it's gonna start turning the picture a darker color. When you're going around, just make sure you get all of your edges sealed down so they don't peel. And then you can pull up your parchment paper to make sure that it's stuck. What you're looking for is that you're not feeling any of the tissue paper above the candle. It's kind of immersed into the wax. It kind of gives the picture a softer feel, but I really like that. It looks like you kind of sent away and had it made. These are awesome ways to also do words on there. You can print out honestly whatever you want, especially if you don't have like a vinyl cutter. And I've also seen people do really cute Unity candles for their wedding with this approach. Also in the same vein with candles, here is a luminary, and I made two different versions with a vase and then also some Dollar Tree LED candles. And then the trick here is some clear vellum. This 10 pack I got from Michaels for $2.99. If you use the 40% off, it's way cheaper than that. So it's super simple. You put it into your printer and print out the size that you want. I did an eight and a half by 11 for my Dollar Tree vase. And then I did a three and a half tall by nine inch wide version of our engagement photos for the candles. So then I went through and used my little just Cricut cutting tool just to cut everything straight. It helped me do things quicker, but you can definitely hand cut it. And then once everything is cut to size, I just took some double stick tape, added it to the end, stuck down the vase, rolled it, and then stuck that same tape on the other end so that it stuck. And that is how easy it is. It is so cute. I love how it turned out. Look at those little cheeks. And the cool thing about this is because it's in a vase, you can add a candle on the inside. By doing that, it will make your lantern glow. And this would be awesome for different parties. This would be really pretty at a wedding reception. You could do your engagement photos and then just have them glow as the lights are down and people are dancing. You could do these in memoriam for people. There are so many different options and they're so easy to make. I repeated the same process with the Dollar Tree candles. And with this one, the only additional thing that I did is I added a piece of double-sided tape to the bottom, just so then that way that stuck a little better to the candle. And then I added some jute twine to the top to make it look rustic. That's totally optional. These are great for daytime, but then also they glow. Either way you go with these, they are great for decor and there's so many uses. And also these would make great gifts. I absolutely love all these Pinterest inspired projects. These are awesome, especially in the days of social media because people are posting pictures. You can grab them from online and make something like this for them and they would not see it coming. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this will inspire you for some decor around your own home or also gifts for this upcoming gift party get together season. Let me know down below if you plan to recreate any of these and also share your images on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. I'm at Whiskey and Wit on all those. I'd love to see what you guys create. Be sure to hit subscribe down below and also hit the little bell. That way YouTube will let you know when I post a new video. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa Jewelry for partnering with me on today's video. Be sure to check out their website. All their information is linked down below. And to all you moms out there, moms, grandmas, second moms, everybody out there that's a mom to somebody in their life, Happy Mother's Day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!